Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I have this 2022 Ford Maverick. This one is a Lariat with the Lariat Luxury Package. So let's go ahead and uh, press on lock button here. So you can see when you press on lock button, you get these cool LED accents that run across the front of the headlight. Hopefully you guys can see it. Looks pretty cool. And then you also get just the standard bulbs in there. Let's go ahead and walk around to the back. No puddle light, no turn signal light, anything like that on the mirror. And then over here, we have a lit up keypad for the keyless entry. And if you walk here in the back, you can see the taillights look a lot different on a Lariat than it does on a normal one. Normal ones have uh, just these lighting right here and then uh, the side marker. The Lariat has this cool LED accenting going around the top and bottom of the taillight. So you can see it looks a lot better than just the, uh, the normal one back here. Then you have your LED license plate light under there. But let's go and get the headlights on and see what these, uh, what this Lariat looks like at night. And I'll go over the interior too, we'll do that afterwards. Let's go and start it up here. Got the nice big screen because it is a Lariat. And then we have the real version of Sync, the real Sync 3, not the uh, basic version. And headlights are on. There's no fog lights on any Mavericks. So um, all the lighting is on. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys. So the headlights on the Lariat look a lot more filled out than they do on the normal one because, or I should say on the XLT and base because the XLT and base does not have this lit up. So it looks kind of weird just having the light down the bottom. So there's what the headlights look like. It's a nice C, uh, C design, it kind of looks like this. And then the basic ones have this lit up alongside the headlights. And then this Lariat has just the LEDs up here and not this part lit up. And you also have your little side marker down there. Let's go ahead and turn on the turn signal and see what that looks like. I'm not closing the door all the way because I don't want it to beep because the uh, keys are in my pocket. There's our turn signal in the front there. It's still really bright. The LEDs and stuff doesn't mess with the turn signal brightness. And then we look here in the back. The back turn signal looks to be pretty bright as well. So if you can see there, it just lights up the two uh, portions right here as the turn signal. Just regular standard bulbs, no LEDs, anything like that. And then, like I said earlier, the LED license plate light and then just a regular light over there. And then while we're back here, let's go ahead and check out this bed. So let's go ahead and open it up here. A nice low loading floor so you can put stuff in there. Um, just standard bolts for the third brake light, which came to a surprise to me because when I looked at a pre-production model at Barrett Jackson, it was an XLT with the Lux package. It had a full LED third brake light. So. I don't know why the production one has a standard brake light, but that's just the way they chose to do it. We have a nice LED box light over here, which you can turn on by pressing this button, but since the door is open, it's already on. Lights up very nicely. You can see it kind of looks weird having the standard bulbs for this portion and the LED for that portion, but that's just uh, the way they chose to do it. So there's those standard bulbs up there. Very easy to replace though. So if that bothers you, it's pretty easy to fix. And uh, last but not least, I want to show you guys the high beam before we check out the inside. So if you guys are, uh, if you guys have a keen eye, you'll notice that this portion over here lit up for the high beam. So that's the high beam right there. And then those are the two low beams, these uh, quad or sections over on that side. But let's check out this interior now. So looking at the door panel, you can see it has a cool LED in there uh, for the ambient lighting. And that is something that you have to enable through the screen. So your Maverick might have this, you might just have it turned off. Very bright interior lighting. Two LEDs up there to light up the front. Very easy to see, it's very bright. Go ahead and hop inside here. Close the door. All right, guys, so this is what you look at when you're driving a Lariat Maverick at night. You got lit up steering wheel, got the really nice gauge cluster, 
Got our sink screen in the middle. We have a nice ambient light that lights up this area. We also have two USBs under there if you look closely. I have my heated seat going and a heated steering wheel. We'll turn off the passenger side. There we go. Looking down here, we have our gear shifter, all that stuff, auto start, stop, drive modes. This one is not an FX4 package, so you can see it has the sport and eco modes. If it was an FX4, I think it has uh, snow and mud ruts or something like that, sand. And if we look in here, no light. Obviously, this is a budget car, no light in there. And then uh, no light in the glove box either. Let's go ahead and see if there's a light in uh, these vanity mirrors. Oh, there is, that's nice. It doesn't look to be an LED light, but they are very bright, nice lights. Passenger side should have the same. Yeah, it does. And obviously these LEDs are super bright for the inside. Really nice LEDs. And then you have a little bit of ambient lighting in the footwell. Hopefully you guys can see it. See my foot moving around down there. Got a little ambient light down there. But let's go ahead and check out the back seat real quick and then let's take this Maverick for a spin. All right guys, check out the back seat. Looks like they didn't carry over the ambient light for the rear door handle, but you do have your little window switch control over here, your storage. Uh, no ambient lighting in the back whatsoever, but you do have a really bright LED back here. So you're covered as far as overhead lighting, just not uh, interior ambient lighting in the back. All right guys, now I'm just gonna take this Maverick up to the front and put it back. This Maverick is available as of this video. I think I'm gonna post it tomorrow, so if you guys live in the Vegas area and you're interested in a Maverick, this one does have a market adjustment like you guys probably expect. But um, this Maverick is available. And if you guys wanna buy it through me, you can contact me uh, by calling the dealership and asking for Jacob. But pretty good headlights. You can see they have a pretty decent spread. They're pretty bright. Let's check out this high beam here. Okay. You can see it kind of lights up that transit down there. That's pretty good. It's a really comfortable car to drive because it feels like an SUV. So it's very nimble, smooth, zippy. The 2.0 is very fast. This one's a 2.0 all-wheel drive model. Yeah, I love the way the steering feels too. It feels very, uh, like, I don't know, it just feels good. It's not too light and it's not too uh, too stiff. All right, let's take off onto the street a little bit here. Yeah, it gets up and goes, that's for sure. Let's handle this corner here. Very easy. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the Maverick in the comments and I will see you in the next one.